Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Um, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. So, um, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into this. Um, Aries, you got a lot going on. Somebody could have been caught cheating, okay? Um, and even though they got caught, they, they're they still um, telling lies. Page of Swords, Ace of Swords in reverse. They're just not being honest about this. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to change either. Um, there, there will be no change. Some of you caught someone cheating um, right before you were going to give them a new start or you're going to start something up or you caught them lying or you caught... You, you, you caught things didn't add up therefore there's a halt there's a stop the page of swords talks about you got two pages coming out here um, at the bottom of the deck you have the page of wands page of swords it's like upright these would have been false starts so it would have it would have manifested into nothing anyway but it was like in the reverse, it's like maybe you got information that allowed you to not even move forward on it. Um, you were toying with the idea of moving forward with someone, but it's like you got information. Um, and this was information roundabout. This wasn't directly from the source. I don't know if you went somewhere else to get it. If you start digging, investigating, questioning other people, other sources, Therefore, something didn't get off the ground. It didn't, hell, you, you didn't even put gas in the car. It, 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 it's just, it, it was a no-go. And, and then with the Ace of Swords in reverse, it's like somebody was being disingenuous, dishonest. They had ill intention or, or maybe selfish intention. They had no, op, they had no um, intention of uh, changing anything or being honest with you or being open. They didn't want you to see through the fog, you know, the fog that they were creating. They they wanted you to remain in that. And maybe you caught them lying or you caught them cheating altogether. All right. Uh, and therefore, right now, if you're still with this person, you are not avoiding argument. It is, um, might even be like World War Three in there. You know, um, it's not good. Okay, if you're still with this person um, and you caught them cheating. I don't think you're going to leave this person. For some of you, if this was not your person, like this isn't your boyfriend or girlfriend, this isn't your husband, then the cards are prompting you to kind of let this go and choose a new direction. I mean, spare yourself. Forgive yourself first. And then forgive this person for trying to bamboozle you, trying to um, swindle you, uh, trick you, cheat you out of something. It looks like some of you came out unscathed. You kind of skirted past this with the hermit card. You kind of maybe even ghosted the situation altogether. Um, you, you could have also gone to somebody and, and sought wise counsel. Uh, you could even have salt yourself because the hermit card talks about um, looking for validation or answers outside of yourself when the answer is really within because all you got to do is look at past experience. Past experience is is a sure indicator of what the future can look like, especially if you, have, or if you aren't changing anything or someone else isn't changing. No change, you get the same thing. So um, that's that. Uh, some of you are dealing with somebody who drinks a lot, okay? Um, they could be on drugs. Uh, off camera, what I was getting, when I was shuffling, I got um, like a vision where somebody was trying several different doors. So they try one door, it would open, try another. So I don't know if somebody has like, because the King of Cups sometimes can talk about um, someone who keeps exes around just to feed their ego and 
they keep people at bay just to kind of, you know, take them off the shelf, play with them for a little bit, and then put them back. Um, I don't know if you were dealing with somebody who was trying several different doors or trying several different people, trying to get something. He's also selfish. He's self-serving, uh, self-centered. Um, our megalomaniac. What? I don't even use words like that. Okay. Um manipulative emotionally manipulative uh will say do anything to manipulate the situation um is an over drinker in the reverse um, is a drunk could be a drunk um i don't know the universe kind of puts you in a place where they wanted you to get on the right path in terms of this person in terms of whomever you're dealing with um, they wanted you to let go and choose a new direction. Get on the right path here. It, it's really up to you. The universe is kind of putting you in, in place to, in hopes that you would choose, because we still have free will, um, choose the right path. Um, therefore, you can be in alignment, because the star card talks about alignment. Think of a star, or think of stars in the sky, and how they are aligned right so the star card talks about alignment some of you were out of alignment if your tires are out of alignment they're not um they're not in sync with the other tires with the structure of how the tire should be um of how the car should be um so it was like you were off course and it was like the universe was like trying to prompt you to get back on course this is not the situation. This is not the person you need to be putting time, energy, effort into. This person could be an over drinker. They have a lot of vices. They have a lot of bullshit going on with them. And they would take you right down into the pit of hell with them. Uh, gambling addiction. Materialistic as F. You know, um, somebody could be with someone for money or um, they have a gambling addiction. Somebody feeds the, the the monster okay here uh and this person could have tried to have you as the other woman while they were still married in a union um this person was all talk very little action also people could have been gossiping about you and this person um especially if if, if it's a small town or something going on like that um person is very cold they want their cake and eat it too they want to have their freedom they do not want to commit they don't want to settle down they don't want to do any of that they just want um no strings attached for some of you um this person uh can't even they can't keep steady work and this could be you you know we got the mean girl club coming out. So some of you could be, because of the things going on with you, you could be a mean girl. You know, that comes from stuff you haven't dealt with. It's easier to push people away, be mean, say mean things, um, be a horrible person. Therefore, no one can see that you really need help. You're crying out for help in, in, on the inside. Um... If you're not a part of the Mean Girl Club, um, some of you are, and you don't even know it, or you're denying it. You really think you're a nice person, but you're you're really not. You take every opportunity to say shit you shouldn't say. I don't know where this is coming from. All right, get mad at spirit, not me. I don't know you. Um, and and it's causing for maybe your finances to be up and down. Also, some of you are. If not a gambling addiction, you spend too much money in one place on one thing, you know, and that's never good. Some of you are materialistic as F or someone you're dealing with is. Um, someone, I don't know, it just seems as if out of alignment. It says get back into alignment. Accept yourself. Heal, your, heal yourself. Heal connections. Heal friendships. Um, this, the star card governs large groups of people friends family technology um some of you doing a whole bunch of spying 
uh, via technology or that's how you found out your information um, you're obsessed with something here where it, it's affecting you all right don't be a part of this club speaking from experience don't be a part of this club it's not a good place um, all right, this is what I have for you guys. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you.